Hello, welcome to East Barnet School. I am Leanne Twain, the head teacher of this wonderful school. Today we're taking you on a virtual tour and we're going to show you lots of the buildings so you can see what it's like when the children are here and it's fully functioning. We're going to start by looking at the school gates. It may seem like a small thing, but the school gates were designed by our students and with our designer in residence. Our sculptures that line our avenue are also designed by our artist in residence. Over here we've got the multi-use games activity base which is used by students at break, lunch and after school. But just for the year sevens we keep it a space that's just for them. We know when they first come everything feels a little bit overwhelming so we try to make them feel as safe and secure as possible. Come on in. Here at East Barnet School, we do lots to empower the students. There are two things we really want to achieve. The first is that they excel academically. We want them to get really great grades, but secondly, we want them to be really great people. So we develop their character and we give them lots of leadership opportunities. Here we have Max, who is on our student help desk. Max, come forward. Okay, Max, what are you doing today? Uh, today I'm a student helper. A student helper, and what does that mean? It means I go around the school doing jobs for people. Wonderful, thanks so much. So we have lots of leadership opportunities right from the beginning, from when they're young all the way up. In fact, we even employ some of our students to work with us uh, in the dining hall and they work on the tills for us. So a safe space to have a job. We're going to have a look at the library. This is a wonderful space where there is a beautiful view over London, but there's some more exciting things to see too. Follow me. Okay, so there's a lesson going on over here, but the library is a space that we have to be used by students at break, lunch, after school and before school too. But here you can see the wonderful view we have over London. I'd like to start here because you can see the wonderful space that we have. Here's the AstroTurf, which is used for PE lessons, but it's also used for social time at break, lunch and after school. What you can't see around the outside is a cycle track. So the students can do cycling in PE and after school as a club. Don't worry, we have all the bikes and helmets for them and it's intentionally a bit tricky on the way around, so it's a bit more fun for them. Also outside, we've got the covered over spaces for children to still go outside when it's raining. And we also have an outdoor amphitheater, but being really honest with the British weather, we don't use it as much as we should. What's really lovely is that we have a author in residence. So Caroline Green or Cash Green. And what's really lovely is that she cites us in her books um, as a writer in residence at East Barnet School. What's really impressive is that two of our Oxbridge students that went off to study English cited her as one of their real inspirations for their creativity. We're super proud of, of everything our students do and this was really, really important part. Okay, we're going to go now to see some English lessons. So we're going to go in and just have a look at a couple of lessons. We'll just pop in so you can have a look at what lessons really look like. Let's go now and have a look at art. I know that lots of students are impressed by the artwork that we have here at East Barnet School. We're really lucky in that we have a whole suite of art classrooms, but also an art gallery, which I'll show you in a moment. So let's go. Hello. That was year eight art. Now we're going to have a look at some sixth form art. Thank you. 
is a sixth form art gallery where students can come and work independently at break, lunch, in their free periods, and they can create this wonderful artwork. Downstairs we have the canteen. Now being really honest, in previous schools that I worked in, I wouldn't eat the food, but every day I come into school and I sit with the children. We have an on-site chef and the food really is delicious. So we have the full suite of DT activities ranging from engineering, textiles, um, food tech which we're in now, right through to resistant materials and all the things that you'd expect in a school. Um, we've just come into an enrichment lesson, so this is for our sixth formers. We are teaching them how to cook a variety of different things ready for when they go off to university and have to fend for themselves. DT rooms. We can come and have a look at some of the textiles. This is one of the textile rooms. Photography here is really popular at Key Stage 5, but also lower down the school for lots of different clubs. So this is the photography room. We've got our very own dark room. So this is our very own dark room where students can develop their own photos and the students really enjoy it, particularly the younger years who get a chance to use it at, during clubs. There's lots of wonderful things that happen in extracurricular activities and also in our Triple E curriculum. So Triple E stands for Enrichment, Engagement, Enhancement. And we do things like mindfulness. Uh, we work with a group called iHeart, which builds resilience in young people. And also we do really exciting things like robotics. So we're going to have a look at the robotics department now and you can see some of the wonderful awards that we've won. We'll just head down the stairs. On the way past, this is the sixth form area. This is where students study um, independently and in small groups, and it's staffed and they work really hard in there. The majority of our students stay on with us at sixth form. Uh, our sixth form is rated as one of the best in the country, um, and we're super proud of everything that we achieve. Just coming along to robotics. So welcome to robotics. So this is an office, but bear with me, it will be worth it. If we just spin you around and have a look at all the awards that we've won here, and in particular, this award here. So Mr. Sadler, who teaches robotics, he won the teaching award. It's a bit like the Oscars for teaching. It was all very exciting, we were on TV. Um, but the reason I'm in here and I want to mention it is that the work that is done here really is world class. We've won an extensive amount of awards, and there's a few things that I'm really super proud of. The first one is this. We have um, as many girls, if not more girls, involved in engineering and robotics. And when they go to off to the competition, we're the school that has the most girls. We're incredibly inclusive and we make sure that all students have access to this wonderful opportunity. As you can see, we've got 3D printers. This is one of the printers that is happening here. There's a few over here as well. And if you were able to come to our tour, um, our open evening, you will have seen me speak about this robot here. So what I loved about this is that the student who had made this robot brought together the two things, I want to learn and do the right thing. So he used to fish regularly in his local lake and he discovered that there was lots of litter, as unfortunately there is at the moment, but he knew it wasn't just a local problem, but it was a, a worldwide problem too. So he designed this robot that can move seamlessly from land to water and doesn't affect the ecosystem. Lots of things like this have been in existence, but many of them do disturb the body of water. It was so impressive that Tideway, who were working on channeling the Thames, were working with the student. Now, he was 17 when he designed this, which is incredible, and he went on to win eight awards. One of them was a university award when he wasn't even at university yet. 
The work that they do here really is world class. As you can see over here, Formula One in schools. So it's not just the robots that they code, they're also designing cars. We've got a wind tunnel next door where the students can do that. Whenever you come in here, sometimes I might get hit by a robot or a drone. They're really working on some high-end things and they're coding and making great use of their engineering and design skills. The final thing I wanted to mention was that one of our students who, when he went off to university to study engineering, he was exempt from his first year modules because the work that he had been doing here was so advanced. And so much so that he then went off to work with Dyson for the year, working on some amazing projects. So I know it's an office, but I think it was worth the visit. Let's go. We're going to come along now to PE. We have a large sports hall, which again is used for clubs. At the moment, we've got 40 clubs on, and that's just at the beginning of term. Let's have a look. downstairs and see some humanities now. Each corridor is a different colour because it's based on house colours. You would have seen the students in PE had different tops on. We have four houses in, uh, at East Barnet School and each of them are based around a particular charity. Like I said at the beginning, we want them to get great grades but we want them to be really great people too. We have lots of house activities. In fact, this Monday is the Bake Off, where students are designing and making their own cakes, and I get to taste them all. Can't wait. We're going to have a look at some Year 9 geography. Come in. As I explained earlier, we have lots of leadership opportunities at the school, starting with smaller activities when they're younger so they can build confidence and their self-esteem so that they're ready to take on larger leadership challenges when they're older. Katie, can you tell us what you're doing in class, please? Sure, so as part of being in sixth form, we have to do 30 hours of leadership. So I'm a geography A-level student, so I'm helping out with Miss Hurst's lesson and just watching over it and seeing if anybody needs help. Okay. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you. Let's go. So we're really proud of our uh, drama department. In fact, all of our departments, of course. Um, Mr. Messias, who's the head of drama, used to be in The Lion King. It's a little secret that I'm letting you in on. And it means that he's brought a real level of professionalism to our shows. This year it's Sister Act. I really do encourage you to come along. So we're going to have a look at one of his lessons now. Let's go. Okay, come on in. And detective, we go again. Suspect, second time round, sit as though you are in that interrogation room. Five, four, three, detective, stand up. Take two steps out. Good. Detectives, I'm going to tap you on the shoulder. I want, you, I want to thoughts aloud. What are you thinking at this critical moment? Suspect, I'm going to tap you on the shoulder. What are you thinking about this important influential moment in your life? Are you ready? I know she did, she's just done well. Good. I did it, but how did they find out? They can't break me. I'm not going to say a word to them. Go. Fantastic. So we're just on our way up to science and maths, and then we'll head over to music too. So this is science. We have the Faraday space, which you'll see in a moment, which has the periodic table on the floor and on the chairs. We use this for visiting speakers. If we have um, guests or lectures, this is where they come. And also we use it for team teaching. So you'll see in a moment, we've got two classes. That's where teachers can learn from each other. We believe in really high quality CPD. I believe that the staff standing in front of your children should be the best quality. And so they're involved in, in training every week. And this is an opportunity for it with the team teaching in a large class.
Running parallel along the two sides, we have our science labs. And we're really lucky that we've got four on each side, so we've got lots of lab space for the students to be involved in lots of activity. So we'll just pop into one class and see what they're getting on with. with the facilities that we have here at East Barnet School. We've got full computing labs, we're going to pop in. Unfortunately, there isn't a classroom right now, but you can check out our facilities. over and see some maths. We get lots of questions about maths. Um, it is setted and the reason that we set is that if you've got a student doing some really high level algebra in a class with someone who has struggles with mathematics, for example multiplication, it would be really difficult. This year though, because of COVID, we were really sensible and decided not to set year seven because we know that they've had a really tricky couple of years and we wanted to see how they get on. So we're going to pop in and see a maths class now. So just to finish off, we'll try to give you a really quick whistle stop tour, but we're going to head down now to music. Before we do, we'll just have a look at this here. I get lots of questions about this on the real life tours. This is an exhibition space where the students have the opportunity to design what goes inside. You can see this year it's based on Black History Month. We're going to come in and have a look at a music lesson now. Thank you so much for visiting. It's been a whistle stop tour. We haven't managed to show you absolutely everything, but hopefully it gave you just a snapshot of what we're like on a day-to-day -day basis. We hope to see you again soon.